checking, cleaning, or replacement filter pilot valve. Before carrying out any work on the system or the lift control valve, the safety regulations and precautions must be observed. It is important to follow all the instructions and information in the associated documentation. It is recommended to check the filters of the pilot valve at every service. Close the ball valve and remove the lever. Push the extension pipe onto the handle stub of the hand pump as far as it will go, then retract by approximately 3 cm. Turn the piston creep preventer clockwise through 90 degrees. Push the hand pump handle down until the pressure is completely relieved. Turn the slack rope safety device counterclockwise to the original position. For the I-500, Close the ball valve and remove the lever. Remove the M3 screw from the solenoid plug. Screw it into the opening of the lever of the emergency lowering. Pull the M3 screw and simultaneously press the lever of the emergency lowering until the pressure is completely released. Screw the M3 screw to the starting position on the solenoid plug. Place a suitable oil drip tray below the valve. System has to be depressurized. Check pressure at gauge. Remove the knurled nut from the up-down solenoid. Remove the solenoid coil together with the O-ring of the solenoid core tube. Loosen and unscrew the pilot valve with a wrench size 27. Check the outer surface of the filter strainer for contamination. Clean if necessary with a suitable cleaning agent. Filter strainers that are too contaminated or damaged must be replaced under all circumstances. Pinch the O-ring between the tips of forefinger and thumb and push them to the side. Push the O-ring off the pilot valve with the thumb of the other hand. Pull the filter strainer off the pilot valve. Push the new filter strainer onto the pilot valve. Insert the new O-ring into the groove of the pilot valve. Replace second filter strainer analog to the previous one. Reinstall the pilot valve, including solenoid coil, in the starting position. Build up pressure with hand pump at the lift control valve to check it for leakage. Install the lever and open the ball valve. To bleed the system, perform a downward travel or, with the ball valve closed, perform a return upward travel for 10 seconds. Perform a new leakage check after approximately 5 upward and downward travels.